Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be talking about a certain dinosaur from a certain game franchise that was very popular in the late 90s and early 2000s. I'm talking about Dino Crisis, a game series developed by Capcom, which is basically Resident Evil but with dinosaurs. The game we will be talking about specifically is Dino Crisis 2, which is arguably the best in the franchise, and the specific dinosaur we will be talking about from that game is the Giganotosaurus. Why is it so aggressive? Why is it so massive? Where did it come from? In today's video, we are going to try and figure that out. So with that, like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and let's get into it. In the first half of the game, the main villain is a T-Rex by the name of Cyclops. The dinosaur gets his name due to only having one eye after losing it to a rocket launcher. As a result, the T-Rex would antagonize Dylan and Regina throughout the first half. Halfway through, however, as Cyclops was about to kill Regina, a hulking Giganotosaurus pops out of the jungle and attacks the T-Rex. The two get into a fight, which leads to the Giganotosaurus absolutely destroying Cyclops. The hulking monster throws the poor T-Rex across the facility and closes in for the final kill. Yes, Jurassic Park 3's Spinosaurus may have popularized the whole T-Rex killer thing, but the Giganotosaurus was the one that introduced this concept. In real life, the Giganotosaurus was still bigger than the T-Rex, though not by much, but here it is absolutely massive, about twice the size of the T-Rex. This is something that would inspire the Ark Survival Evolved Giga 15 years later. According to the lore, there was only one specimen that was sent to the future as part of the Noah's Ark plan. Things went wrong, and the Giganotosaurus escaped and made its home in the jungles. As a result, the specimen became extremely territorial and could easily kill off the more common Tyrannosaurus. After it killed Cyclops, the Giganotosaurus became the new antagonist of the game and would relentlessly attack Dylan and Regina in the missile silo of Edward City, which was now overrun by dinosaurs. The creature finally met its demise when a satellite laser beam shot at it, but not before the monster survived an explosion and being set on fire. Well, that answers two of my questions, but why is the Giganotosaurus so massive? My theory is that maybe the Giganotosaurus has some kind of genetic mutation. Whether the creature was born with the mutation naturally, or it was genetically modified by humans is still unknown, but the mutation may have caused the Giga to reach the massive size that it was in the game. In my opinion, this creature was absolutely terrifying and was what the Giganotosaurus of Dominion should have been like minus the massive size. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.